Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, lads. Newcastle coming away with a win against Fulham today at St. James's Park. What a result. Another win in the bag for Newcastle. Another win in the bag for Eddie Howe and the lads. And at St. James's Park once again as well. That now extends our unbeaten run in the Premier League from 13 games to 14 games unbeaten in the Premier League. Now that is absolutely fantastic. It takes we're back to third in the Premier League as well. And looking at the way the game played out, you know, Newcastle fully deserved to come away from this game. The winners... Fulham had a moment in the game where uh, Bobby Reid got a knock inside the box. But looking on closer inspection on the replay, you could see that it was actually Kieran Trippier that got fouled in the box. But Mike Dean, of course, was telling Rob Jones to go check it on the monitor, which, of course, he went and checked it on the monitor. He come back, did the usual box like they always do and awarded the penalty. Fulham upstepped Alexandra Mitrovic, who hasn't scored uh, against Newcastle in four appearances since leaving Newcastle to join Fulham. Uh, but of course, he converted from the spot today only for that then to be uh, waved away as he double-touched the ball on the penalty conversion, which means that under the new rules of the Premier League, the penalty would not be retaken by Alexandra Mitrovic. Fulham would not be... Oh, re-awarded the penalty chance again and Newcastle would get the ball under the old rules of the Premier League they would have been allowed to retake that penalty decision but unfortunately uh, under the new rules for Fulham fans uh, that wasn't the case for us Newcastle United fans that was fantastic because rightly the penalty shouldn't have been given on very close inspection you could see on the replay that the penalty shouldn't have been given but, of course, uh, it came out in the end with Newcastle uh, getting, of course, a very brilliant goal uh, in a brilliant bit of play by Newcastle as well. We were absolutely dominant in this game against Fulham today. Like I say, Fulham did have chances, but they didn't do nothing with their chances that they got. Uh, they had five shots on target against us today. Uh, five shots, sorry, in the game today, but zero of them on target uh, we had 20 shots in the game and five of them on target. So we were the much more dominant team in the game. Uh, we were a, lo a lot more lethal in front of goal. Uh, possession as well was a massive uh, major benefit to us. Uh, we came away from the game with 63% possession to Fulham's 37% uh, possession. Uh, we came away with 10 corners in the game to Fulham's 5. There was 14 fouls in that game by Fulham and only 6 uh, by Newcastle. And of course, uh, we did see, unfortunately, uh, Bruno picking up a knock to the ankle in the first half of the game. Uh, and of course, he ended up having to go off uh, at half time uh, with an ankle injury. It looks now like he has twisted his ankle, hopefully. It's not as serious as it sounds uh, with we're having the two semi-final uh, games coming up in the League Cup. And of course, the other games in the Premier League as well that we've still got to play. Uh, we really do need Bruno in that midfield. He is the centrepiece to our uh, midfield puzzle. But now it looks like, you know, we are going to maybe have to go out there and get somebody as a backup in case this does turn out to be serious. But hopefully it's not serious uh you know he was able to play on for a reasonable while until of course coming off for half time uh to be replaced by alexander uh, by maxi uh of course uh in the game uh we're seeing then uh isaac of course come on in the second half around the 71st minute he had a couple of touches in the fulham box and then of course we're seeing him score that goal which was just an absolutely fantastic bit of partnership between uh, Callum Wilson and Alexander Isak. That's something that you know we haven't had the chance to see this season because of Isak being out injured for so long. Of course, the last time he played in the Premier League for well, was back when you know he played in, in September against Bournemouth. Uh, that was the last time he played a proper game for well, in the Premier League. And now he's came into the game today. You know he's had a fantastic game. He put in a fantastic performance. Uh, in the game as well forward and he just got 
probably the easiest goal he'll ever score in his career today against Fulham. It was just an absolutely fantastic bit of play by Wilson to chip that ball over uh, Bert Leno to get Isak into that area to get an open goal uh, header. Just a fantastic goal. Uh, fully deserved win by Newcastle and we, you know, move back to third in the table where we're rightfully belong. Some might say, you know, that would deserve to be a lot higher than this. We're now at the halfway point as well, playing 19 games in the league. That means we've only got 19 games left to go and we are third in the league. So if we can keep this form up, if we can keep performing like this, you know, for the rest of them 19 games, there's some games in there as well. Uh, like we've got Palace up next uh, in the league. You know, we've got some of our big uh, games coming up as well in the league uh, ahead. You know, so it'll be interesting to see where we'll go, uh, of course, in the league moving forward. We've got a game against uh, West Ham. It's in James's Park after, of course, um, semi-final games against Southampton. Uh, we've got a game against Bournemouth uh, down at theirs, of course. Uh, we've got a game against Liverpool, which isn't until the 18th of February. Uh, at St James's Park though however and it's a 5.30 kickoff, so it'll more than likely be dark so it's more than likely going to be an under the lights game against Liverpool at St James's Park on that 18th of February uh, game but it's going to be interesting to see where we go in these next 19 games uh, where we go of course in the games that we've got left in the League Cup as well we're now in the semi-finals uh, of the League Cup there's a big chance to win a cup there I just hope that, you know, Bruno can come away from this game, uh, you know, after that news of the injury to his uh, ankle. Hopefully it's not as serious as it sounds and hopefully, you know, he can play in the next game coming up, which is, of course, against uh, none other than Palace, uh, of course, in the game down at Selhurst Park. So hopefully he's able to be included in that game. Uh, we will find out in the days ahead, in the weeks ahead, uh, what Eddie Howe has to say on it. But it looks as though, you know, uh, they are going to be having a check on that one uh, to see how serious uh, the problem is. And of course, the transfer window is open as well. Like I've said in the previous video uh, today, you know, we're looking at Ruben Neves. We're looking at uh, Milikovic Savic as well of Lazio. So, you know, if it does turn out that it is... On the worst side you know then maybe we can bring uh, Neves in maybe we can bring Savic in you know and then they can help with and then when Bruno does get back to fitness if it does turn out to be on the bad side of things then you know it'll be a great uh, boost for we're going forward but fingers crossed you know everything crossed that it's not as serious as it sounds. Uh, it just sounds as though he has twisted his ankle and he might be out for a couple of days, you know, maybe a week at most. But, you know, I just hope it's not as serious as it sounds. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, remember, like, share, subscribe to 100% Bags and all the lads.